All right, hey, Shalom, Makian. First and foremost, I do give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekar Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one eagerly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one eagerly called God, one eagerly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh means He to be, for He is. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. All right, so coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit, giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, pretty much, I ran this information about uh, dealing with the southern kingdom and doing our slavery. And um, it says uh, five major Af African tribes that was taken into slavery because we all uh, we had to f we had to flee into the west coast of Africa after the um, 70 AD the destruction of, of Jerusalem by the Roman Empire, which you could link that up with uh, the the book um, from Babylon to Timbuktu and his biblical prophecy pursuant to um, Luke the 21st chapters giving you some history. So we fled into Africa. That doesn't mean we're Africans. All right. The Negroid tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, fled into Africa from Roman persecution. Okay. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people during the period from Pompey to Julius it has been estimated that over 1 million Jews fled into Africa fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery the slave markets were full of black Jewish Slaves. So why do you, why did this thing happen unto us? Because you know we we went off as a people. We broke the laws, statutes, and commandments. And this is Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse one. It says the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. Dealing with what we did in the past. The Heavenly Father gave us over to those, you know, reprobate minds, deceitful hearts, and pretty much, you know, called us, call, caused us to, to go into captivity by us breaking the commandments and things of that nature, dealing with the house of Judah here. So whilst their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the hills. So people went off as an, you know, this, you know, the Jews went off as a, as a, a well, you could say the southern kingdom given over to idolatry all right and it, it got passed down passed down onto different generations during the, uh, the bc time frame dealing with the book of kings the book of judges you know it says nlt even their children go to worship at their pagan altars and asherah poles beneath every green tree and on every green hill that's idolatry on my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil in thy high places for sin throughout all our borders. So that's what happened to us as a, as a people. Eventually, we got cut off as a nation. The southern kingdom got split into one. And the northern kingdom got taken out of the land. And this is the effects of it. So today, you know what I'm saying? The Mosai is calling us back through the small remnant. All right? Verse 4, it says, Thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I have gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For he hath kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn 
forever. American tribes that were taken away during the Atlantic slave trade. The Yoruba people were taken from modern-day Nigeria and Republic of Benin to countries such as Brazil, Cuba, and Trinidad and Tobago. The Igbo people, also from Nigeria, were taken to Barbados, Haiti, and Jamaica before being shipped to North America. The Akan people, primarily from present-day Ghana, were taken to Brazil, Jamaica, and Trinidad and Tobago. The Congo people, from the region encompassing modern-day Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the Republic of Congo, were taken to Brazil, Cuba, and Haiti. Lastly, the Mandinka people, from countries such as Senegal, Guinea, and Mali, were taken to countries such as Brazil and the United States. These tribes endured unimaginable suffering and displacement as a result of the transatlantic slave trade, with their descendants now scattered across the Americas and beyond. Five major Africa. See that? So not only, you know, Trinidad, the, the Caribbean islands, man, even out there in Guyana, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Throughout North, Central, and South America. So I ran to this information online. Even Esau is breaking this down real quick. Let me get it for you. On to the amalgamation of a bunch of different tribes there that destabilized the region and led to a genocide and a holocaust of the Igbo people. Um, where in the 1960s, millions of them were systematically killed and murdered. Yeah, he told me about that too, but I was like running late. So. And so it's like, <laughs> so this is so relevant because we have such a never Long again star. holocaust yes. theme, but like these people had it. But what is mind-boggling to me, which I can't imagine why this is not in the news and not spoken about, yeah. is that like a large chunk, more than a, a fourth of the transatlantic slave trade came specifically from this one tribe. Mm -hmm. So how are we not starting to connect dots and being like, wait a minute, so the tribe in Africa that the government of Israel is fascinated with and, uh, you know, enamored by is now the blood of those people flowing through the African-American community here, which was, makes sense to me why they're all being like, we have an Israelite affinity where we're identifying this is us, we are this. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, so yeah, if the DNA of the blood of these people are in them, they have a valid claim to feel and say that. Nigeria is just a name that the British like threw on to the amalgamation of a bunch of different tribes there that destabilized the region and led to a genocide and a holocaust of the Igbo people um, where the 1960s millions of them were systematically killed and murdered. Yeah, he told me about that. So that's the point. So it goes back to us going off as a people. You know, that's how we, we ended up. Let's get Luke uh, 21. You know, Yahweh Shah warned us of these things that's going to come to pass from the Roman persecution. All right, this is uh, this is dealing with you know what transpired after Yahweh Shah died. Okay, Luke twenty-one and twenty, and when he shall shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation draw it nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein. Because the Roman armies uh, put a siege around our country, man. Around Jerusalem, um, Judea, and different places like that. For these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. This is 70 AD. But warn to them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people, the house of Judah. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, dealing with Esau, until I'm sorry, it's like until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So right now in our land are the other nations dealing with Esau, the Arab nations, so on and so forth. This is where it all started. 70 AD, and it goes back to our, our I, idolatry. What we did to our power, man, back in the days. So right now the Most High is gathering us from the four corners of the earth because we about to get up out of this, this captivity. All right, so remember, it says, verse 4, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, us being Israelites, us being the Jews. And right now, hey, that, that Edomite dude speaking, you know, he's not a real Jew. 
You got you got people claiming our heritage that is in our land. And their DNA and the things that happen does not match up with them and they so-called Holocaust. The real Holocaust is what happened to us as a people, dealing with the Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom. Man, it put it all in one. We got we got massacred. Okay? But to the, for the real Jews, they're they're the ones who got put on slave ships and our, our northern speaking um, our northern brothers and sisters as well, a, a good amount of them got sent back to Spain, different parts of the world. All right, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Where is that? Over here in the Americas. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So that's for for a period of time. You know what I'm saying? And the most size is getting ready to deliver us. All right. Let's see what else this have. All right. Leviticus 26 and 31. And I will make your cities waste. Uh, the panels are not broke. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm still at work. So we're going to close this out. Leviticus 26 and 31. It says, I will make your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries into desolation. And I, will, and I will not smell the savior of your sweet odors. I will bring the land into desolation. And your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the heathen. And I will draw out a sword after you. And your land shall be desolate. And your cities waste. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it lie desolate. And he be in your enemies land. Even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbath. So eventually, you know, this will happen to us as a nation. You can get more precepts on that. But the point is, we fled into Africa. This is out of the book from Babylon to Timbuktu. And you look it up with prophecies. And we are those people. So it's giving you some good, you know, history and bringing it all together through the Holy Spirit. You know, praise the Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, Lord, when it's an edifying lesson. Unto the very elect. Shalom.